Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next and today I wanted to do a review on a movie that I saw in the movie theater on Friday and it is Abigail. As you guys know, a couple of months ago I made a reaction video to the trailer of Abigail and I said that it reminded me of like, it, it looked like a comedy horror um, and I think that was a very important thing to like watch the trailer and be aware of that before going into the movie itself because I went with my friend Kelsey and she said she was disappointed at the end because she was like, I thought it was going to be scary um, and it was kind of goofy. And I was like, well, I, I knew it was going to be goofy, so I liked it because I knew what I was getting myself in for because I watched the trailer. It kind of came across as like it chapter two kind of silliness. There was a lot of like the dialogue was kind of comical in a, in a sense, like there's one scene when the guy's running from Abigail and he's yelling, there's a vampire on my ass, like things like that. Like it's funny. Um, and that's the same kind of thing as like It Chapter 2. It was kind of comical, but it was also a horror movie. I think even It Chapter 1 was kind of comical too, but I definitely feel like the second one with the grown-ups was more funny to me. Anyway, if you don't know what Abigail is, I'll just read this for you from Wikipedia. It is a 2024 American horror comedy film. See, it says comedy in this too. Like you can just tell when a movie's like a comedy horror. The film follows a group of kidnappers who capture the daughter of a powerful underworld figure and demand 50 million million dollars for her release unaware that the young girl is actually a vampire that's pretty much the premise of the film it's basically this group of like six or seven kidnappers and they are hired um and they're all like anonymous they they're not allowed to like it's kind of hard i really don't remember any of their names because they have like fake names given to each other and then toward the end Abigail reveals their real identities and their real names. So it's a little confusing remembering names, um, except for Abigail herself. But yeah, basically the movie starts, Abigail's this 12 year old girl who's like doing ballet on a stage. And when she gets home that night, she gets kidnapped. Um, and it's this group of, like I said, six or seven people, um, a couple of guys, a couple of girls, and the rest of them are guys. And they're all promised $7 million each if they pull this operation off. Um, and they take her to this mansion and the guy who lives there is saying like her dad, the guy who hired them, he says like her dad is this like multi-billionaire or whatever. And he has demanded like a $50,000 ransom to give her back. And so that their job, the kidnappers, is just to kind of take care of her throughout the night. They're not to really harm her or anything like that. So she's just in a bedroom. But yeah, once night falls and she shows her true identity, it gets pretty wild from there. Abigail does in fact become a vampire. I really liked it. There's a lot of blood, a lot of guts, a lot of gore. It is horror. Um, there's some pretty good jump scares too. But it is, like I said, it's very comical. It's like watching one of the It movies. Um, and it's definitely like, also like Megan. And I said that about the trailer too in that reaction video. I was definitely getting Megan vibes from it because it's like, although Megan was a robot, but she had like all these, she was like dancing and stuff like that. Um, and Abigail's kind of the same. She's, she's a real person though. She's a real girl but she's a vampire and she's like doing ballet while she's like covered in blood and like killing people. Um, and it's pretty epic. Okay, Abigail was played by Alicia Weir. Uh, Joey, who was a girl, she was played by Melissa Barrera. Um, Frank was played by Dan Stevens. Rickles was played by Will Catlett. Um, Sammy was played by Catherine Newton. And Peter was played by Kevin Durand. And Dean was played by Angus Cloud. Lambert was played by Gian Carlo Esposito. <laughs> and then Abigail's father was played by Matthew Good. Now, I will say I really enjoyed the movie. Like I said, though, if you're going into it expecting like to be scared, you're not, you, you are going to be disappointed. Um, but if you just go into it expecting it to be like this goofy kind of comedy horror, you will really enjoy it. I thought it was really enjoyable. There's a lot of suspense between the, the group. You, you kind of see that Abigail's kind of manipulating them and kind of getting them to turn against each other. And there's so many like trust exercises throughout this whole movie. They're trying to negotiate with Abigail in some scenes. Um, they're trying to negotiate with each other. They're fighting each other. They're shooting each other. Abigail's attacking them. Then there's some of them are even like there's one scene when uh, I would spoil it, but somebody sides with Abigail and it's got a kind of wholesome little ending um, involving a pinky swear or a pinky promise that that was a little bit of a tearjerker if I do say so myself. But yeah, I actually really liked it, and I really liked Abigail. I thought she was a good antagonist to join the world of horror, you know what I mean? Like, Megan came along, um, and now Abigail, 
And so I think she did a great job. Now the location was just amazing. Like I fell in love with this house. It was like this very old um, kind of Victorian era house. Like it was a mansion, but it was like, and it was so old fashioned in there and it looked a lot like House on Haunted Hill actually. Um, and it had, I think they stole, not, not necessarily stole, but like they took inspiration from House on Haunted Hill with the house um, itself because the house looked kind of like that. It was like a mansion. Everything was like kind of old fashioned and like very antique -y and beautiful. Um, and then when it came to the part where Megan actually, Megan, I keep doing that. I keep trying to tell people about this movie and I keep saying either Megan or Annabelle. Um, but yeah, Abigail. When Abigail turns into the vampire and they all try to escape, the house goes into lockdown, just like House on Haunted Hill. Um, it's like shutters on the windows and the doors and everything, keeping them trapped inside with her. Um, and yeah, it's fucking awesome. I really liked it. I don't really know what else to say. I would definitely recommend watching it. Um, I think it is pretty good. And as somebody who is pretty critical of horror movies, I genuinely like it. It is a, mo a movie that I will watch again. But yeah, if you want to check it out, definitely do. It's worth it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and chase your dreams. Thank you for watching my video. And don't forget to subscribe and follow me on my social media or I will f***ing die. Oh yeah!